I grew up in Secaucus in Hudson County, uh, always within, you know, eyesight of the Meadowlands, if not at the stone's throw of the Meadowlands. And when I was a kid, we used to call the wetlands out here, we called it the swamps. And that's where we played when we were kids. And, you know, as I got older and as time marched on, I was noticing more and more of what we used to, you know, was our natural playground when we were kids was turning into development. Uh, warehouses, office buildings, residential communities, uh, lots of shopping, retail opportunities and, re and restaurants and that kind of thing. Uh, all, over, all over the map and Sea Caucus here and then I started looking around the other towns and they were all had the same issues with people filling in the wetlands and building pro uh, inappropriately placed projects there. Uh, it was in the early 90s when I really started to, uh, you know, realized that somebody had to do something about it and since the government was involved in the whole uh, scheme to, re to develop everything out here I knew I couldn't count on them so that's when I got involved with uh, an organization called Baykeeper and Baykeeper basically was one of the original waterkeeper programs and it didn't take me long to realize that uh, the way the way it really works is somebody has to step up. So I stepped up in 1997. I founded Hackensack River Keeper based on that, based on the Waterkeeper model, based on the model that was put forth by the Hudson River Keeper back in the early 80s. And uh, since then, we've had a uh, you know a rash of successes. First, we uh, the biggest one possibly for the for this area was the uh, new master plan that was put in place. It replaced a master plan that was over 30 years old, and uh, it preserved all of the remaining wetlands that were left in the Meadowlands at that time. And, uh, and to this day, we haven't had we haven't had any additional wetland losses except on a very very minuscule level, uh, and that was for things that needed to go by wetlands that were not. Uh, development, but more or less uh, storm drains and stuff like that. Tall ones, they kind of have like a shed on the top and there's a cylindrical part of it underneath. Those are scrubbers where they remove sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide, both of which contribute to acid rain and greenhouse gases. And in between them is a mercury precipitator where they remove excess mercury from the coal smoke. We got them to do another uh, another project right here. In behind that wall, where you see that little waterfall, you see that little waterfall with the birds at the top of it right there? Well, in behind that wall are the cool are the cooling water intakes for the turbines. They got to, you know, because the turbines need to be cooled, otherwise they overheat and they stop working. So, what they had there were open pipes that just sucked water right out of the river and anything swimming by got sucked into the machinery and got ground up and spit out the other end. What we got them to do when they with the plan shut down for this project they were able to put traveling screens in front of the intakes so now if the fish gets pulled in it doesn't go into the pipe it goes into onto the screen and the screen has a system of troughs that allow it to come out and that's why there's water running out of there now because if there were any fish being caught in the screens the fish would then be coming back into the river and they're getting about 75 to 78 percent uh, less mortality now than they had before they put the screens in so we've been able to get them to do some pretty decent stuff here you know great ships out in the harbor and then wind up up here in the Meadowlands and one of the uh, at the time the whole area was under British rule so one of the soldiers actually found out how they were accessing the cedar swamps and their general that was in charge uh, issued an order to burn them out they actually burned a couple thousand acres of cedar swamp in order to do away with the pirates uh, it did away with a lot of the cedar but the pirates just moved to Trenton. <laughs> we call them legislators nowadays. You know? <laughs>
just fall behind Floating down that old river boy Leave old memories way behind Yesterday slowly thing all my life I've been waiting for this time Floating down that old river boy Leaves me feeling good inside Floating down that old river boy Trying to get to the other side Yesterday, it's slowly thing I've been waiting 